Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is an exciting day, Android 11 is finally out for a lot of the Pixel devices, mainly except for the first generation Pixel. And today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Pixel and update that to Android 11 whilst keeping root access. And today we're going to be using the factory images and of course using Magisk to patch our boot image in the process so we can keep root access. So, currently my Pixel 3 here is rooted using Magisk and it's on the latest stable version but unfortunately the stable version right now does not work on Android 11 so we will need to do something about that. We'll be using the Canary builds of Magisk and Magisk Manager but I'll go over that in a second. But why don't we head over to our computer where we can start downloading a few things. So, here is the blog post just to say Android 11 is released but Let's talk about Magisk because we need to update our current stable version of Magisk to the Canary builds. Uh, down here, you need to visit this GitHub link on your phone. It probably makes the most sense because we'll be updating uh, the Magisk Manager APK using this one that we can download here, the Canary build. So why don't we head over to our phone real quick. Uh, I know it is a bit small, but hopefully uh, we can still see what's happening here. So I'm on the GitHub page, which I'll link down below as well. And all you have to do is scroll down to Magisk Manager Canary and tap on that link here and then tap OK. It's going to download an APK for us. And before we install it, you need to make sure that your Magisk Manager that you have currently installed, if you go to the settings here, make sure that your Magisk Manager is not hidden. So you will need to restore Magisk Manager if you have hidden Magisk Manager before and then go back to Chrome or whatever and open the app and install it. Now our app is installed, we're going to open it and we're going to see this new interface that we're using. This is the Canary build of Magisk Manager. You can see the version that you've installed here. Now we need to make sure that the latest version is actually the Canary build because we don't want to flash the normal one. We need to go to settings up in the top right hand corner. Tap on update channel, you can see it's blank right now. We need to make sure we select Canary. Once you've done that, we can head over back here and you can see we are ready for an update. But we don't need to update our current installation, we need to make sure it patches our Android 11 boot image with the Canary build of Magisk. So why don't we go back to our computer where we'll finish off downloading the rest of our things that we need. So let's head over to the next link, which is the latest version of the SDK platform tools. You're going to need this. This is just ADB and Fastboot, these programs we use to communicate between our phone and our computer. You probably already have these, but just make sure it's the latest version. The last time it was uploaded, updated in July. So click on this blue download link here for your operating system. You'll need to agree and read to the terms and conditions and then click on the blue download button. I'm going to save everything into one folder just to make it easy for us to uh, ensure that we have everything together. So download the SDK platform tools and also you'll need to download the latest factory image of course for our Pixel 3. I'm going to go to blue line here or whichever pixel you have. I want to scroll down here uh, to our Android 11 build and you'll notice that this particular one says all carriers except IN. So if you're on the IN carrier uh, you might want to wait for even next month or unless they release another factory image this month to kind of fix whatever is wrong with this one in regards to using it on IN. I'm not sure what carrier this is, what country it's from, but you might experience some signal issues or other network related issues if you choose to flash this and you're on IN. This is what it says. So I'm not on IN, which is fine. So click on this blue download link on the right here, not the flash link. And I'm going to save this in the same folder as where everything else is. So I've got the two files here and that's all we need for now, so why don't we go ahead and extract what we need. So let's open up the platform tools zip file here and let's just extract the platform tools folder outside, just like that, back into the Android folder. Fantastic, we can close this now and why don't we open up the factory image as well and we'll need to extract a few things inside. So open up this folder inside and click on the bootloader and hold control, click on the image zip file and the radio image. We need to extract these three files outside just like that. Great, so we can close this factory image. And then from here, we need to open up the image zip file that we just extracted, open this up, and we need to take the boot image outside like that as well, okay? Now we have these uh, files extracted outside and we're pretty much ready to go. So why don't we Take this boot image, put it on our phone so we can use Magisk Manager to install Magisk onto it. Now keep note, this is our Android 11 boot image. So let's go over to our phone here. We just need to quickly enable the USB uh, mode. We need to change it to file transfer. And let's head over back to our lovely computer here. We'll go to this PC and we should see our devices connected here. There we go. Go to the internal shared storage. 
I have this old boot image here from when we rooted on Android 10. So we can actually uh, delete this just to make things uh, you know, more clean. We're going to copy over the boot image into the root of the storage down here. Don't put it in one of these folders. You might accidentally drag and drop onto there. Or if you want to play it safe, you can just Control C, Control V. All right, so let's head over back to our phone and we'll use Magisk Manager to patch the boot image that we just copied over. And to do this, just tap on the update or install button, depending on which version of Magisk you're currently running. And then tap on select and patch a file here. And if you can't see your internal storage in the hamburger menu, you need to go to the three dots and tap on show internal storage. And once you've done that, tap on the boot image and tap on let's go. This will download Magisk for us and it'll also flash Magisk or patch it into our boot image our Android 11 boot image. So we'll be able to use this to reroot our device after updating. Give it a few seconds here and you can see it's saved in our downloads folder under this file name. So just keep an eye out on what it says on your device. It may differ. And once you've done that, uh, we also need to make sure that we don't have any modules that may affect us booting into Android 11. So I think things like Quick Step or other kind of system related mods or system dependent mods um, might not be a good idea to leave those enabled or installed when you update. So if I had those modules, I would disable them, uh, including Ed Exposed, but Ryu and other Ryu modules seem to work all right. So just make sure you can confirm that it works on Android 11 and maybe you can even update it before you update to Android 11. But I think the best practice is to disable or delete all your modules before updating just to make sure your phone doesn't go into a boot loop. So once you have that sorted out, we can pretty much head over back to our device here where we'll, oh sorry, our computer where we'll be able to copy the Magisk patched image from our downloads folder. Here it is. So I'm going to copy that back into our Android folder. So we have all the files that we need over there. We can close the window for the Pixel 3. We won't be needing that anymore. And once we have the files that we need here, we can go ahead and actually start our updating process. And to begin, we need to open up a command prompt window inside the platform tools folder. So this is just a platform tools folder, You're very familiar with ADB and Fastboot. So all you need to do is go up to the address bar and type in CMD to open up a command prompt window in the same location. You can see that I'm in D Android, same as where our platform tools are. And if I type in fastboot, you'll see that it runs. If I type in ADB, you'll also see that it runs. So I'm gonna put this side by side to make it easier. And uh, all you have to do is head over back to the Android folder and we'll start off from there. Alrighty, so I've just positioned these things side by side. And what we can do is actually go to our phone and boot it into the bootloader. And to do this, we can uh, press and hold on the power button here, tap on restart, and when the screen freezes or turns black, just hold the volume down button until it boots into the bootloader. All right, so we're in now. We can head over back to our computer, and here is where we'll start the update command. So first off, we should check that our device is connected to our computer. So let's type in fastboot devices, like so. You can see our device's serial number has popped up, which is exactly what we need. Now let's flash the new bootloader image. So let's type in fastboot flash bootloader. Leave a space after the word bootloader and then drag in the bootloader image onto the command prompt window. And for whatever reason, you can't drop this in like uh, what I'm experiencing right now. You can actually hold shift and right click on the file that you need uh, and then click on copy as path. And then you'll actually be able to right click and copy the location of the image. So that's another way to put in the path there. Hit enter and it should send our bootloader uh, image onto our phone like that. And what we need to do now is reboot our phone back into the bootloader for the new bootloader to take effect. So let's type in fastboot, reboot bootloader, hit enter, and our phone should reboot into the bootloader. Okay, once it does that, we'll do the same command for the radio, sorry, a different command, but we're gonna update the radio image on our phone. Let's type in fastboot, flash, radio, leave a space after radio and Still can't drag it in, so I'm going to hold shift and right click and copy the path and hit enter. And that's going to flash our radio image. All right, and the next thing we need to do is reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So we can hit the up arrow key on our keyboard twice to go to our previous commands and we can hit enter. And that should take us back into the bootloader as well. Yes, it does. And now it's time for the big image zip file that we will use to update our system. So let's type in fastboot two dashes, type in the word skip, dash, reboot, and then type in the word update. Leave a space after update. I'm going to uh, copy the path into the command prompt window and hit enter. And this will check that our bootloader and radio versions match the Android 11 build, which is which it does, we just did that. 
and then it's also going to flash all the images that are inside the zip file to their respective slots and do anything else that's necessary for the system to update. And then it'll also uh, stop it, the phone from rebooting automatically afterwards. So that allows us to flash the Magisk patched image before our phone reboots back into Android. So we can actually boot up and uh, have root access right from the beginning. So we'll wait for this to finish off flashing and I'll fast forward this and I'll see you at the end. Alrighty, so the flashing has finished and it took just over 70 seconds, which is great. And it looks like there are no errors here. If you do experience an error, I recommend booting your phone back into the bootloader using the menu options here, and then go ahead and run the same command that we just did, the update command. But since everything has finished just fine, we're going to flash the magisk underscore patched image now to our boot partition. So let's type in fast boot, flash boot, leave a space after boot. I'm going to copy the path again, right click here and hit enter. And that has finished flashing the boot image. So why don't we reboot our phone into Android and see if our phone turns on. So uh, let's, why don't we do it on our device here, do the honors on our device. All right, I'm just gonna press the power button and let it reboot into the system now. Have your fingers crossed and hopefully your phone will boot into Android 11 whilst rooted with the latest version of Magisk Canary. Alrighty, that was a quick startup and let's unlock that. We can already see the new Android R USB debugging kind of icon. And there we go, we're just finishing the system update which is fantastic. But why don't we have a look at Magisk Manager again and um, make sure that we're still rooted because that's very important. And there we go, we're still rooted. We're on the Canary build of Magisk, so you know it's definitely worked. And here we go, this is, everything's normal again. So you can hide the Magisk Manager um, if, again, if you want to, which is fine. You can do that now, and uh, you can check out other modules that may be compatible with Android 11, but just double check that they are. You might end up in a boot loop afterwards, but um, you know that shouldn't stop anyone. But anyways, we're now updated to Android 11 whilst rooted, and we didn't lose any data, which is even better. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Or even better yet, join us on Discord. Uh, we have plenty of good chats there. And of course, if you're looking for help, I think Discord is the place to go. Uh, you can share pictures and type in longer messages and I'll definitely get your messages and you should definitely get my replies, unlike YouTube comments. Anyways, thanks for watching again. And as always, happy flashing.